Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. So in today's video, I have a eyeshadow palette review and tutorial for you guys on the new Tarte Rainforest Temptations eyeshadow palette. So I'm going to be trying out this palette for you guys and sharing my honest thoughts with you and creating this super glam makeup look for you guys. Now before I jump into the tutorial and the review, I want to say a big Ramadan Mubarak to all of my Muslim subscribers. I hope you guys have an amazing and blessed Ramadan, inshallah. So without further ado, if you guys are interested in seeing me play with this palette and create this super glam look, then make sure to keep on watching. Alright you guys, so to start I already went ahead in and I got my base done just to save time in the video. For a foundation today, I went in with one of my favorite drugstore foundations, and that is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in the shade Golden Beige. Of course, under the foundation, I did go ahead in and do my base routine. If you guys are interested in knowing what my base routine is in terms of color corrector, primer, and all that fun stuff, I will have a video linked up here for you guys, and also down below in the description box for you guys to check out. I am super excited for today's video because as you guys know, I love Tarte. Tarte is one of my favorite makeup brands as well as Too Faced. Those are my top two favorites from Sephora. So every time Tarte drops a new eyeshadow palette, I am just in love. I always have high expectations for these Tarte palettes and I'm really excited to play with it today. So we're going to go in to the eyes and you can see my my lids are a bit greasy so I definitely need to prime them and to prime I'm using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. And to set the lids in place, I'm going in with the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. And just wiping away the excess powder because it's all done setting on my lids. Alright guys, so we're going to jump right into this palette. I am so, so excited. Look how beautiful this palette is, you guys. There are so many beautiful shades in there and I love the blush color in the middle. Now, I have quite a few of the Tarte Eye and Cheek palettes and I feel like they're blush shade is always very similar to one another. It's always like this light pink shade. Um, so, I mean, it looks very similar to stuff I already have from other Eye and Cheek palettes, but it is a great wearable shade, so I can't complain. And I just love Tarte so much, so I'm really excited to be kind of playing with this palette today. So to start off, I'm grabbing the shade Luscious. Taking this on a Morphe M441 blending brush, I'm just going to apply this color onto my crease. So right off the bat, one thing that I am loving is the pigment of the eyeshadows. I really didn't have to pick up too much product and you can see I'm getting so much pigment on the lids. Now this is not uncommon for Tarte. This is why I love Tarte. They have such beautiful, really nice buttery eyeshadows. So I'm just loving this and they're always really well pigmented. I feel like with Tarte, a little goes a long way and blending out my eyeshadow is never a problem. So right now I really am enjoying Luscious on the crease and you can see it's really easily just blending out and there's such beautiful color on the lids. So, so far in terms of fallout, I'm really not seeing much on the pan. So I'll show you guys up close. You can see around the area where I use the shade Luscious, there's like no fallout at all. So we really like that. The eyeshadows don't have much fallout. They're not that messy so far. I mean, I've only used one shade, but so far so good. I'm really enjoying this palette. So next I want to go ahead in and cut my crease and to do so I'm going in with my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and my Morphe M410 brush. Next I'm going in with the shade Entranced and I'm taking this color on a Morphe M124 flat brush 
and I'm just going to pack this color onto the inner portion of the lid. I am loving how this shade is looking on the lid. It's so nice and vibrant and shiny. It looks beautiful. So a little goes a long way again with this shade. I don't have to pick up too much product to go in and pack it onto the lid. And in terms of fallout, once again, I'm really not seeing any fallout at all on this palette which is just amazing and is such a dream and also I'm really not seeing that much fallout on my face I see like one sparkle right there but for the most part this eyeshadow is very clean it's not messy which is really nice next I'm taking the shade after dark I'm taking this on a separate morphe m124 flat brush and I'm gonna apply this onto kind of like the middle end of the lid. So I'm kind of having the same experience with this eyeshadow as I did the first kind of inner corner to lid shade that I applied. There is like no fallout on the pan or really on my face, just a little bit and a little goes a long way with this product. Next I'm grabbing the shade Tropic and I'm just going to place this color right in between where these colors meet, these two shades just to add a really nice kind of gradient. Wow, that is so beautiful. Do you guys see that? And that really easily kind of just added a nice gradient to the lids that you can see before and after. That is beautiful. This shade has such a beautiful like green gold undertone, like as you guys can see. And I just think that's so lovely. It's giving me very much like snake vibes, snake skin vibes. So it's pretty on brand for this palette. Going back in with the shade Luscious on the Morphe M441 blending brush. I just want to apply this color onto the outer corners. So I'm basically trying to create a nice outer V to get that nice cat eye look. And it's okay if it's not perfect because I'll sharpen it out with my concealer. Next, I'm taking the shade Treasure, and I'm taking this color on a Morphe E17 blending brush, and I'm going to apply this color onto the outer corners. And this is going to add really nice dimension to the eyes. I'm placing this color kind of over top of the shade After Dark, which is the dark kind of sheen shade that I applied on the lid, like the outer portion of the lid. And this is adding a really nice gradient to the lids as well. This shade is having a little bit of fallout, but that's okay. Just brushing it away. I really do love this color. And again, there is such beautiful pigment coming from this shade. I'm taking Tropic, which is the kind of middle shade that I applied, and I want to bring it more towards the inner corner. So I'm going over top of Entrance just a little bit, taking a little bit of After Dark and blending that out. Now I'm just going to take a clean brush and blend everything out so that there's no harsh lines. Going back in with Luscious, I'm just making sure to pull the color out so that there's a nice cat eye effect when I clean up the face with concealer and blending the outer corners out just a little bit more with Treasure. Alright you guys, so I want to take a break from the eyes, work on the face a little bit, and then I'll go back in and wrap up the eyes. So to start, I want to go in and just wipe away a teensy bit of fallout that I'm seeing. Really there isn't that much fallout, it's just a little bit. So I'm just going to look up and flick away as much as I can with just a small brush like this. So to conceal the face, I'm going in with the Tarte Ultra Creamy Shape Tape Concealer. And here you can see I'm just going to clean up the eyeshadow with the concealer. You can see it gives that really nice cat eye finish. And to set everything in place, I'm going in with the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder.
I'm just taking Luscious a little bit and just cleaning up the lids. So while everything is baking and setting in place, I want to go ahead in and do my eyeliner. For eyeliner, I'm using the Tattoo Liner by KVD Vegan Beauty. Alright, so eyeliner is complete and I'm going to go ahead in and wipe away the setting powder because it's all done setting on my face. I'm just going to take a little bit of setting powder and set my cheeks in place for when we go in with contour and blush and highlight. Because I'm going to be using powdered products, I want to make sure my cheeks are nice and set um, or else the product is going to go on patchy on my face and on top of the foundation. So it's really important to set everything in place if you're using powder products. Next, I'm going to do my brows, and to do so, I'm using the Benefit Gimme Brow in the shade 4. I'm taking Luscious and I'm applying it onto the entire lower lash line, but keeping the inner corner kind of clean, I don't want to go all the way through, just kind of two-thirds of the way in. Next, I'm taking the shade Entranced and I'm applying this color onto the inner portion of the lower lash line. And this is just going to help brighten the eyes and make the eyes look more open. So for falsies today, I'll be going in with the Kiss So Wispy Pompadour Lashes. This is what they look like, you guys. Look how beautiful they are. They're such nice lashes for glam looks. I love them. And for mascara, I'll be going in with a new Maybelline mascara. This is the Green Edition mascara. All right, you guys, so eyes are complete. Now I want to go ahead in and prep my lips for some lipstick. I'm going in with some lip plumping gloss. This is the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme. So I'm just going to pop this on the lips and keep it on for a few minutes to let it really seep into the lips and plump the lips and add really nice hydration. So while the gloss is kind of doing its thing, I want to go ahead in and contour my face. To contour, I'm going in with the NARS Laguna Bronzer. Also going to contour my nose a little bit. And I'm going to clean it up with some setting powder. For blush, I'm grabbing the blush shade from the palette in the shade Bitten. That is such a beautiful, soft, warm, pink toned blush, which is perfect for any kind of makeup look like for today i'm doing a super glam i feel like i would also really like this color with a really soft glam look as well or even like an everyday makeup look so i'm really loving this blush and apply some on the nose for some color just gonna soften out the blush a little bit Ryan Little. gonna sharpen out the face So I want to go ahead in and take off the lip plumping gloss because it's all done kind of getting the lips ready. For highlight, I'm grabbing Champagne Pop by Becca. Down the bridge of the nose, a little bit on the tip, and a little bit on the cupid's bow. And the very last thing I have to do is my lips. So I'm going to go ahead in with some lip liner. This is the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in the shade BFF4. For lipstick, I'm going in with a nude. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Matte Lipstick in the shade Honey. Mm -hmm. 
Lastly, I'll be going in with this Maybelline Lifter Gloss in the shade Crystal. And to finish off the look, I'm going to set my face in place with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Alright you guys, so that is pretty much it for today's makeup tutorial. Now before I go ahead in and wrap up the video, I want to tell you guys my final honest thoughts on the new Tarte Eye and Cheek Palette. Of course this is the Rainforest Temptations Palette. So overall you guys, I really like this eyeshadow palette. I love the diversity in this palette with the shimmers, the sheens, and also the matte shades. I love the blush color in the center you guys can see it on my cheeks it's so beautiful and perfect for all types of makeup looks I shared my thoughts with you guys throughout the video and told you that a little goes a long way with this palette there is a lot of pigment I used different types of shades I used some mattes some sheens and some shimmers and you guys saw how beautifully they performed on camera another thing that I talked about throughout the video is that there isn't a lot of fallout from this palette Palette, which is amazing. The only time I experienced a fallout was just a tiny bit on my face and it was such an easy fix. I just wiped it away with a brush and if you're doing your eyeshadow before you do your base, you can just wipe it away with some makeup remover. So it's really not that big of a deal. You guys can see I use this palette and there is absolutely no fallout on there. So I'm really, really impressed. I honestly did have high standards for this palette because like I mentioned, I love Tarte and I love the quality of their eyeshadows, so I'm not surprised that this is another amazing product. Alright you guys, so that is pretty much it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys want me to do another look with this palette, maybe something a little bit more on the soft glam side or an everyday makeup look, let me know in the comments down below and I'll definitely make another video with this palette. I feel Feel like naturally I will be gravitating towards this palette a lot so you will definitely see me using this palette again on my channel if you guys haven't subscribed already make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload and you guys that is pretty much it I want to thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one bye guys